Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to see 6.3789 problems. Seventh problem. Rajya and Preeti, two students of class 9, together collected rupees 1000 for the Prime Minister Relief Fund for victims of natural calamities. Write a linear equation and draw a graph to depict the statement. So here, two students are there, they collected 1000 rupees. First of all, we have to write the linear equation just as we wrote in our 6.1, right? And after uh, forming a linear equation, we have to draw the graph. So first, we don't know how much money Rajya collected and how much money that next girl Preeti collected. So I am taking as let the amount collected by Rajya rupees x and similarly let the amount collected by Preeti y rupees amount collected by Preeti equals to Y rupees. Okay. Now, what they give in the problem? They together collected 1000 rupees. Right. So, amount collected together or by both of them also we can write is equal to x plus y that equals to 1000 given. Na? So, here what is the linear equation x plus y equals to 1000. So, to draw the graph first of all we have to find the value of y. So, to draw the graph first of all we have to find the value of y. So, y equals to 1000 minus x. So, we will find out the values x y equals to 1000 minus x x comma y ok and points so here we will take same as x 0 ok so here money they are collecting na? so Okay, we can take 0 also, but no, we cannot take negative numbers here because money they are collecting. Na? So, all are positive numbers only. Okay, so without here in the problem they are telling now they collected together. So, it's better to take other than 0. Okay, if 100 rupees first, if x is 100. Then what is y value? 1000 minus 100 that is 900. So 100 comma 900. It's point A. And next if x is 500 then y equals to 1000 minus 500 that is 500. So here x 500 y also 500 okay this is point b next we'll take some other another amount x as 300 then y equals to 1000 minus 300 that is 700 so x value 300 y value 700 it is point c now to this we have to draw the graph see here we have no negative values now here so I did not write the negative side of x-axis and negative side of y-axis so this is intersection is origin 0 comma 0 right side positive values and this side also positive because we don't we are we didn't take the negative negative values this kabati. Okay, so here x values we took as 100, 500, 300, right? And y values we got 900, 500, 700. So that's why I'm taking as 100, 200, 300, 400, like that. 
So scale I wrote on x axis 1 cm equals to rupees 100. Otherwise you can also write 100 units. Okay. Same on y axis 1 cm equals to rupees 100. Now see x 100 and y 900. See here x 100 and the corresponding y 900. So this is 100 comma 900. It is point A. Okay. And point B 500, 500. X 500 and Y also 500. So 500 comma 500. Okay. And the last one, third one. 300, 700. So X 300. Y 700 here. So 300 comma 700 it is B. Now just take the scale and join these three points. Okay. So like this. See if you see it, it, it cuts x-axis at 1000 and y-axis also exactly at 1000. So write the line name x plus y equals to 1000. So this is the graph of the equation. Eighth problem. Gopaya sowed wheat and paddy in two fields of total area 5000 square meters. Write a linear equation and draw a graph to represent the same. See here, Gopaya Kontha area lo paddy, sowing means with an and Kontha area lo wheat vesar. Mottam total area 5000. Same as this seventh problem, area, area sowed paddy, paddy sowed area x square meters and wheat sowed area y square meters. Okay, and combinedly 5000 square meters. So, we will write area of the field in which paddy sowed is equal to x square meters. Similarly, area of the field in which wheat sowed is equal to y square meters okay now what is the total area of the two fields total area of two fields is equal to given 5000 square meters so that implies x plus y equals to 5000 square meters okay so this is the linear equation now what is y value it is 5000 minus x so in the same so first if x is 1000 y equals to 5000 minus 1000 it is 4000 so here point 1000 comma 4000 it is a next if x is 2000 okay so here we are not taking zero why the area the area sold paddy sold x square meters we sold y because something some area ento konta area lo aithe abhi naati untar kada so that's why we are not taking zero no problem if you take also. So 2000, 3000. It's point B. If X is 4000,
now will represent in the graph in this graph also there is no negative values right so i am not taking negative side of x axis and negative side of y axis only positive sides i took so here we have values in thousands up to 5000 so that's why i took scale as 1 cm as 1000 square meters you can write units also in the place of this square meters okay see what is the first point 1000 on x axis here and 4000 on y axis this one so 1000 comma next second one 2000 comma 3000 so what is x value 2000 this one and y value 3000 here 2000 3000 it's point b next what is point c if x 4000 y 1000 x 4000 y 1000 here it is c now just take the scale and join this by using through one line not by using so scale to we done it ni join chesesa so this is the graph of x plus y equals to 5000 okay next problem ninth problem the force applied on your body of mass 6 kg is directly proportional to the acceleration produced in the body write an equation to express this observation and draw the graph of the equation okay so it is given force is directly proportional to acceleration okay first suppose if this pen is an object here it is if we want to move this object we are applying we have to apply some force right then only it moves so the more force equa manam force upayoginchi idi move chesthe equa speed tho veltundi right takkuva force use chesthe ikkade undipothundi kada so directly proportional ante adhe anamata oka quantity perigithe inkoka quantity kuda perugutundi ani so here they gave force is directly proportional to acceleration so, F equals to MA. This is second law of uh, Newton's law of motion. Okay. So, here M we have 6. And we will take force applied as Y. Okay. So, I wrote force applied by units and acceleration X units. Now, what is the formula F equals to MA? Here F is Y m equals to 6 a x so y is equal to 6 x so if we want to find out the points x y is equal to 6 x x comma y points if x is 1 then y equals to 6 into 1 that is 6 only so x1 y6 it is point a i'll take x negative also negative what is x negative acceleration okay so minus 2 y equals to 6 into minus 2 it is minus 12 so minus 2 comma minus 12 so if we take x as plus 1 okay already completed now so if plus 2 y equals to 6 into 2 12 so x2 y12 it is point c now we'll see the graph so here only one one gap i took and so one one gap only now i took so i wrote scale on x axis one centimeter one unit okay 
and negative side also I took. So first 1 comma 6 x1 y6 1 comma 6 point a. Next minus 2 comma minus 12. See here the last minus 12. So x minus 2 y minus 12. Okay, it is B. Next, if X is plus 2, what is Y? 12. Here, 12. 2 comma 12. Now, take the scale and draw a line through these three points. It must pass us through the origin because it is in the form of y equals to mx. All the lines which are in the form of y equals to mx passes through the origin. We saw in second problem now that. So this is the graph of y is equal to 6x or f equals to ma whatever. Okay. So, if you take the scale with 2 to units gap, then it's, it, it looks more neat. Okay. I took 1 1 centimeter gap only now. So, if you take 2 to centimeters gap, then it will be very, very neat to see. Okay. So, this is our ninth problem.